All right, this right here is the Poco X3 Pro, one of our favorite devices on this channel. And recently in the global version of this device that is known as YU, it did receive an update called MIUI 13.0.8. Now, as always, I would have easily gone ahead and, you know, posted a video stating what is new and what is not but that's not the case these days because this device is getting old and all it gets nowadays is security patches but with security patches there are some under the hood changes which you should know and this video will do exactly that it will exactly tell you you should install this update or not because we've tested this for two days i put my personal sim card in there i played games on it ran the benchmarks charged it discharged it so here's your complete review of MIUI 13.0.8 for the POCO X3 Pro. But before we get into the details, if you haven't already, please subscribe because it doesn't cost you anything and it really motivates us to make amazing content like this. Now, without further ado, hello awesome people. Welcome to Phone Ops. My name is Kalash. Let's get going. All right, so let's see what we have here. First things first, let's actually go to settings and let's go to about phone. Now, as stated, this is MIUI 13.0.8. And if you talk about what's new, optimized system performance, improved system security. Now that's what they always say. So as you can see over here, if you go to all specifications, you do have the October security patch and everything else remains the same. So what is new in this update you ask? Now, there are a bunch of things which keep changing with MIUI updates, if not overall features it's at least the performance now as far as the ui on this particular update is concerned it's much more smooth much more fluid and that is something that i have liked now i've been using this rom or this particular device with this particular update for a long time that's two to three days with 120 hertz always enabled most of the time the brightness is high i don't really get scared of you know reusing all the features on this particular device because it has a big battery of 5160 milliamp hours and i've got pretty decent battery backup now battery backup is something we will speak about first let's address the elephant in the house everybody hates or sort of dislikes miui because of the way it performs and way it runs in the user interface now that seems to be fixed because we did get smooth google feed experience the good part here is the moment i installed this update and went to system apps updater i did actually find a update for poco launcher over here 4.38.0.4918 so poco launcher 4 is now officially available through this update which is a good thing and as you can see the app icon animations on poco launcher 4 are almost there they are not as smooth as some of the Xiaomi's flagships or upper mid-range devices, but more or less, it's doing a pretty good job. Be it app icon animations, scrolling through the user interface or going through the Google feed, your experience is going to be rock solid and you will not have any major issues. Now that said aside, we still don't get the new control center, which you should be getting in almost all the devices now. So as you can see, we still have the old control center nothing new at all over here so apart from this if you ask about new features now there aren't many but there are a few things that have got updated for example if you go to the security application and let's actually go to settings here 7.1.0 now this is one of the latest stable security updates version at the same time if you go to the game turbo you now have almost a similar experience to what you used to get in beta earlier so more or less it is present and it works fine now off lately there has been a theory that on miui powered devices if you turn game turbo completely off you get better performance let me know in the comment section if you want me to test that because i'm planning to make a video on that right now this is game turbo that we are talking about let's actually dive into settings and quickly see if we have anything different at all over here so about phone system apps update or security status now over here the google play system update is now october security update so if you've not updated this go ahead and update that as well now apart from this in sim cards and mobile networks or in wi-fi you don't really have any new changes Moving on, your Bluetooth and connection and sharing. Now, in lock screen as well, everything seems to be absolutely similar. Now, what is interesting over here is notifications and control center. So, if you click on this, you will see that you have the old control center and the new control center. So, you still don't have the MIUI 13 styled control center available for POCO X3 Pro, which is in my opinion sad but you do have addition of smart home so if you're using google smart home or if you're from china and you use xiaomi's smart home features you can go ahead and actually use it if you go to status bar everything is still the same so no new features at all but yes 
the smoothness is definitely improved. Now, as far as the security menu is concerned, you do get good fingerprint experience. Face unlock works without any problems. This update is still powered by Android 12. So no Android 13 yet. It would be a surprise if we get Android 13 this quick. The privacy protection menu is still the old one. We still don't get the Chinese MIUI version, which looks better in my opinion. And if you go to battery, you do have the performance mode. And as you can see, I've been on battery for six hours. I've had around almost one hour, 40 minutes of screen on time. And we're still at 79%. So you can easily get seven to seven and a half hour of screen on time. And in gaming as well, I've not experienced that the device heats up much. I did play Apex Legends a couple of matches and I will actually show you that clip in some time. But yes, the charging speeds, the battery backup is rock solid, no problems there. And everything else seems to be exactly the same. If you go to special features, you have the same old MIUI 13 sidebar, which you can use. You have floating windows, which are present and they work absolutely fine. And apart from this, if you go to additional settings, you have memory extension. And if you go to the multitasking menu, as you can see, it still shows six gigabytes of memory instead of eight gigabytes of memory. Now, these things aside, let's quickly have a look at this Poco launcher over here. If we have anything new animation speed can now be set, which is a good thing. And global app icon animations, double tap to lock screen. Recents can be, you know, adjusted horizontally. So all those things were present earlier as well. And they are working even now. So if you put any app in say floating window, okay, this one cannot. What about this? Nope. And let's see here. So we need a user application, something like say, let's, let's open the calculator application over here. There you go. Am I calculator? Okay. And let's put this in floating window. Okay. For some reason, some apps work in floating window and some don't, but most of the time floating windows is working absolutely okay. So there's no problem whatsoever. Now let's quickly talk about the performance numbers and the benchmark numbers, because that is what everybody is interested in, right? So first things first, we will talk about benchmark. So we have Antutu benchmark over here and a classic MIUI score over here. 576 938 and the temperature did go up by 7.7 .7 degrees celsius and the battery dropped by three percent so standard stuff over here even if we go to the gallery application you will notice you don't really have any new features over here but the cpu throttle test with game turbo was pretty rock solid 90 percent throttling and the average score of 194 506 gips with a maximum score of 209 597 gips so in my opinion as far as a stock rom performance for a poco x3 pro goes this is a good update after miui 13 remember this is one of the rare devices which has received only two or three updates as far as miui 13 is concerned now apart from this we do have geekbench in the picture over here as well and i was surprised to see the results of geekbench here as well let's quickly have a look so if you go to history you do see 780 single core and 2627 multi-core now, let me quickly talk about the gaming experience before I actually show you that clip. Now, the gaming experience for me in Apex Legends was pretty rock solid. I ran at the 60 FPS settings with, I think it's the equivalent of Smooth Extreme in BGMI or PUBG. So all settings enabled, FPS meter enabled. I did play two matches. Whenever there were a lot of enemies or a huge fight going on where there are a lot of players, there were FPS drops. Every time I jumped out of the, you know, aircraft and I was landing, the closer you get to the ground, there were FPS drops. Using the decoy escape. Using mids. Come on, come on, come on. Hey now, another squad coming in. Target's right in front of me. Reloading. Oh, no, 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 no. Replicator being delivered. Healing. Ah, oh, this is taking too long. Oh, shots fired, and they're hitting me. I could use some help. 
Round three. Beginning ring countdown. Tearing through reality. Hey, yeah. Taking fire. Reloading. Need assistance here. Opening fire. Oh, look. Someone. Oh, look. Some enemy real close. About time we got ourselves a fight. Decoy escape. Enemy real close. About time we got ourselves a fight. Mass decoy confusion. Check. Temporary cloak. Check. Ultimate design. Enemy reviving here. Good. I was getting bored. Respawn beacon here. She got bamboozled. Firing. Way down. Shots fired in. I'm down. Being powered by a Snapdragon 860, it does give you some advantage at least and that is what I experienced. After 45 minutes to 1 hour of gameplay, I did not experience any heavy, you know, heating or anything that would concern me or I am unable to hold the device or something like that. So overall, my gaming experience was pretty decent. But if you are a hardcore gamer and you want extreme gaming, you can try custom ROMs. But I would suggest stick with MIUI if your device is old. Because this right here is my second POCO X3 Pro, which I got as a replacement. You might not be that lucky, right? So keep that in mind. So charging speeds are good. Battery backup is great. The camera quality is pretty decent. It is as it was earlier. No new camera features over here. Everything still looks exactly the same. But yes, the reliability of stock ROM is definitely present. Now you can definitely install this on the Indian variant as well, but you will get some errors like this device is not Play Protect certified and if you Google it, a quick step will allow you to get rid of that error. But if you install it on the Indian version, you will still have this particular issue of device is not certified. But in my opinion, this particular update for the POCO X3 Pro is a pretty good one. You should install it. It doesn't give you any major issues of performance penalties as we've seen in the past. Overall, MIUI 13.0.8 is a splendid update. I expect it to come to the Indian region soon as well. Let me know in the comment section what do you think about this video. I'll see you in the next one. Keep smiling. Take care. Goodbye.